talk about carbs today and why they are not the devil um, and why and how some people do what we call carb cycling. Um, if you're on some kind of health and fitness journey, weight loss journey, fat loss journey, maybe you're training for a competition, you name it. Um, I'm a big fan of carbs. Okay. So uh, I also have a weakness called carbs. I like breads and pastries. So you guys, um, I want to talk about that today. First, say hi. Definitely let me know that you're here. Say hi. If you're watching it replay later, definitely say replay. What is up, Charlie? You are the man. Um, but you guys, one of the biggest things I, if you, if you love carbs, put carbs in the comments. I love carbs. I, uh, there's so many great diets out there that you guys, I'm not a big fan of diet. I'm more of a lifestyle person. Okay. So any time you reach out to me for advice, this is going to be some of my suggestions, right? I'm a big fan of finding a lifestyle that works for you. Okay. Some people that's going to be low carb. That is me. I like a more balanced, low carb diet, right? But the thing that there's so many great things out there like keto that don't, don't include carbs. Okay. So that's different for different people, different strokes for different folks, right? I want to talk today about carbs. So many people, obviously, if you know me, you follow me. I love health, fitness, uh, business. Those are my favorite things, right? Um, and helping people on a weight loss journey is like one of my biggest passions. Um, and because it is, it is a common thing, but there's also the thing that I see so many people do the wrong. I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight. I want to lose weight. So the first thing that they do is they cut out all carbs without knowing the rest or the method to the madness or anything. They just automatically think carbs are bad. I'm going to cut them all out so that I can drop weight. Um, when they don't do different things. Okay. So I want to talk about a few of those things today. Um, so first I want to know, like, what is your carb weakness? What is it? Drop it in the comments. I want to see, uh, smash the heart button. If you can totally understand, Hey Linda, if you can totally relate to this. Um, okay. And if you need a meal plan, I have a low carb meal plan. It's free. One I put together, I'd love to share it. So if you want it, put meal plan in the comments. I'll send it to you. So, so you can use it as a guide, but you guys, the first thing people do is they cut out carbs. So like, oh gosh, carbs are the devil. I don't want to eat them. I'm going to cut them out so I can lose some weight. Well, here's the thing, you guys. Um, yes, they can help you lose weight, but a lot of people go from eating crap and all these things and really high carbs and everything. And then they just totally cut them out and they start losing weight. So they think this is right. This is what I need to do. Right? Well then, um, it, it's usually more of a quick fix depending on the person and depending on how you're doing it. Hey, Miss Janelle. Um, but the thing is, is whenever you cut down your carbs or cut out your carbs, you need to increase your fat. Why? Because your body needs some sort of fuel. Okay. That's why keto has extremely high fat because you are dropping to little to nothing on the carbs. There's a reason and there's a science behind it. There's a method to the madness. So don't just, don't just say, Hey, I'm going to go keto real quick. You've got to know what you're doing. Um, and I'm not on here promoting keto. Like I said at the beginning of this video, you guys, if you're just hopping on, I um, love putting carbs in my in my meal plans that I help people with. Um, sorry, somebody called me. I was trying to get off my screen. <laughs> um, but you guys, again, if you were gonna go cut out your carbs, um, you gotta increase your fats. Think of your car, your body like a car, you guys. If you do not put fuel in your car, how far are you gonna get down the road? You're not gonna get far at all. Okay, so um, if you don't have fats. Um, and you don't have carbs and all you're eating is protein and, and green leaves, like you're not getting enough of anything. You're going to be tired, brain dead. I get brain dead when I don't have carbs, you guys, if y'all can relate. Um, but so there's a different things, you guys, carb cycling is something a lot of people do. And what does that mean? It's, it's your carbs are different. Some people cycle daily. Some people cycle weekly. Some people cycle monthly. There's a lot of method to the madness, but I'm a big fan of the whole daily method, right? Um, I know whenever I help people with their meal plans, I like to all we have, we have to also figure out like, what is your fitness level? When, what are the days are you working out? What, um, you know, what is your activity level? Are you sedentary on some days where you're crazy active and working out and chasing your kids and doing all the things you're doing on other days? Um, what kind of training are you doing? Are you doing uh, a little bit more higher intense, longer duration type of training like marathon runners, you guys? Marathon runner, do you think a marathon runner does not eat carbs? Hello? No. <laughs> you need more. Uh, if you're working out with a super high intense workout program, you guys, carbs are your friend. Um, and so the reason why a lot of people do carb cycling, and what is carb cycling? Okay, for an example, say you have seven days in a week. Uh, you got to, again, figure out when your highest activity days are. What days are you working out? Okay. Maybe what days are your lower intense? Maybe I'm doing some light cardio Sunday. I'm going to lower those carbs a little bit, but maybe some days I'm going to like hardcore crazy boot camp and I'm going full blast 
obviously I'm going to increase my carbs a little bit. Hey, Miss Joanne, how are you? Um, so a lot of people do carb cycling so they can drop body fat. Obviously, we want to drop weight, right? Maybe you're training for a competition. Like I said, maybe you're doing uh, a Spartan race or a marathon or whatever the case may be. Um, a lot of your training. So days that you're training and you're working out super hard, you're going to up your carbs. Days that you're not working out at all, maybe you're sedentary, maybe you sit at a desk. If you sit at a desk, put desk in the comments. A lot of people sit at desks all day long. Those are going to be your days you're going to eat lower carbs, right? Um, again, depending on what type of training, if you're a marathon runner, you're doing hard. Some of you guys that are doing CG games, like breaking carbs in your diet because <laughs> you are working out super hard. I hear the workouts you're doing to train for it, and I know what you're going to be doing at the event. So carbs are your friend, right? Um, and so you guys... Yes, Janelle, okay, so you're sitting at a desk, and that's a lot of people in today's world and societies are sitting at desks. So a seven day, I totally skipped this part, but say for an example, okay, you're seven days, uh, you have seven days in a week, okay, and you're maybe working out three of those days. So you're gonna make some of your higher carb days um, on the days that you're working out. The days you're not working out, make it your lower carb. So typically, an example of like what I help people do in that one week, we'll have two days that are higher carb, okay, and two days that are kind of moderate carbs, and then we'll do three, day, three days that are lower carbs, especially if, like say if you're on a Sunday. Do you like to rest on Sunday? Put the word rest. That's one of my favorite days to rest. Um, it's always just been, this, I'm resting tonight. It's very rare I get a workout on Sundays because I like to enjoy the day and just literally rest unless I just slept all week, right? Um, so typically on a seven day cycle, this is what we do on our meal plans too, um, is typically two days of a little higher carbs, two days of more moderate in the middle, and then three days of low carb. I'm a big believer of low carb. The clients that I help with their workout plans, their online, we, I do uh, obviously fitness, um, those of you guys that see me at CG, CG what what, um, drop that in the comments if you will. I'd love to see who's on here. Um, but also I do online personal training, online group training, uh, and meal plan counseling. I help people with just taking products, so I also help them on the meal plan side, at least give them a sample. So if you do, again, I have a seven day um, meal plan, it's a low carb plan, it's it's not designed, customized to anyone, so you can use it as a guide, but please know, I can't sit here and say, okay, you need 150 grams of carbs every day, right? Because everybody's different. Not everybody needs 150 grams of carbs. Not everybody needs 200 grams of protein, right? Like that, please don't take those numbers as realistic for you because because of your body composition, because your lean muscle mass, because your body fat, all these things varies on how many you specifically need for your body to maintain and then for your body to also lose weight. So. Uh, again, if you want the copy of the meal plan, put meal plan below. It's a free meal plan. It's seven days. It at least gives you a guide. There's some recipes included. There's a shopping list, uh, a grocery shopping list also that you can um, take it and use it. Um, but you guys, carbs are not the devil. If you're choosing to go a, uh, a diet that is no carbs, like then just know what you're doing and get, get advice and get help so that you do it right. Because if you're cutting out carbs, your body needs fuel, okay? So don't just cut out carbs to cut out carbs thinking this is what works, right? You gotta, you gotta also increase your fat. Um, say if you know you're gonna get a hardcore workout. Um, like I know for me, when I, when I was doing specific like strength training uh, in the gym, which I'm actually gonna start going, strength training means I'll have like two days a week where I will do legs, because I know that's my weakness. So typically the night before a hardcore workout or a leg, Work out because your legs are like half your body, you guys. It's the biggest portion of your body. I wish carb up in my dinners the night before, okay? So there's little things like that that are carb cycling. One day is high carb, the next day maybe middle, and then low and back and forth, you guys. It, it has a lot of benefits with your metabolism. Your metabolism is what is gonna help you burn that fat, keep you going, and help you losing weight. And the key to it is it doesn't get um, you don't just, I mean, you, everybody hits plateaus on their journey, okay? So I'm not saying this, but sometimes this will actually, if you're at a plateau, will help you get past your plateau. Um, it'll help you increase your performance. Like I said, those of you guys that are working out, maybe you're not finding energy in your workouts, you're dragging. When is the last time you had some carbs into your meals, you guys? Things like rice, oatmeal, uh, quinoa is one of my favorites. Um, whole wheat, look for whole wheat things. Don't uh, try to stay away from the white breads and the white uh, rices and stuff. Um, and, and little things like that. So you guys, I, I, I could go on about this topic for days because like I said, I like carbs. I'm a big fan of keeping them in my, in my diet and anybody that I help. Why? Because they tend, you, it's a lifestyle change. 
I'm a big fan about a lifestyle. Make Don't just go for a diet to hurry up and lose 20 pounds and then when you get there, what are you going to do? If you're going to cut out carbs and then you lose 20 pounds and then you automatically add carbs back into your diet, guess what? That is what the yo-yo diet comes from. So baby steps, do more of a cycling. If you need help, reach out I, or drop info. I'll share info. Um, I do meal plans as well that are customized to you if you decided you want one. Or I'll shoot you my free one over as well and at least use it as a guide. So again, um, I hope you got some value today. I definitely wanted to, yes, thank you, Maria. Preach it, sister. Um, don't just cut out carbs because you think, oh my gosh, I want to lose some weight. Because it, 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 nine times out of ten, I see people do that. They may lose a few pounds and then they quit because they feel like crap. You got to do it the right way, okay? So uh, that's all I got. Y'all have an amazing day. Um, and I will be on here more. I slacked the last few days, but I'm back. I'm back more regularly and I will talk to you soon. Bye.